Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalisa Jaikaran and I'm a makeup artist. And today I'm introducing a new series to you guys. Now, YouTube thrives off reviews. Now, the beauty community, we want to see what's new, what's popping, what's good. And if you don't have it like two minutes before it comes out or like two minutes after, nobody wants to hear about it. But, you know, I'm a professional makeup artist. If you don't know, I live in New York City and I work in fashion, beauty and advertising. So with me, I'm just like, I want to see the latest and the greatest, but I also want to know what is been existing for a very long time that I have to know about that I that I've never used before so for me that is powders foundations things that are OGs in my kit that are not just the latest and greatest shiny thing at Sephora there are some products if you don't use it they're like are you really are you really even a, a real makeup are you a real makeup artist if you don't if you don't know about these things so we're gonna start this series off by reviewing the RMCA powder now a few years ago I think I, I clearly remember when this happened I think the, like the Instagram online beauty you know YouTube community found out about the RMCA powder now this powder has been in existence for years like 50 years I believe and uh, Everybody was talking about it. Everybody uses it. And I think that it's like a staple for some people now. But before that, nobody was like trying to use no RMCA powder. You know what I mean? Now, this is what the powder looks like. It comes, it honestly looks like, it, it looks like it's supposed to be in a kitchen. It's like a shaker. And it comes with a lot of product. It comes with three ounces of product. Like you cannot go wrong with that. Now, RMCA powder, if you, um, I'm just gonna read what they have on the thing, just so you know, we have all the details, all the tea. Um, so, RMCA is Research Council of Makeup Artists. The Research Council of Makeup Artists. It's the original no color powder, like the original. Now, the perfect universal setting powder for all skin types with an exclamation mark. No color powder contains absolutely no pigment, no perfume, no fillers, and will never alter your foundation shade or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that won't cause flashback. The ingredients is talc and silica. So let's talk about the difference, firstly, between a setting powder and a finishing powder. Now, a setting powder does exactly what it says. It sets makeup. So you want this powder to lock your makeup in um, and uh, have it not go anywhere. You want to just make sure you're snatched and that is what a setting powder does. It sets makeup. Now, a finishing powder, which are most things like um, like a tinted powder, um, sometimes, you know, MAC used to have these, um, oh gosh, what was it called? Like they had these, um, you know, the color correcting powders um, or any tinted powder is like more for finishing. So now let's talk about instances where I do use this powder. Photo shoots, especially beauty, fashion, things like that. I'm definitely going to pop some things up here where I know for sure I've used this powder. It is no color. So, so um, the no color powder really like takes away shine like that. And I am just like, my work here is done. Run me my coin. No, I'm kidding. So I'm just like, my work here is done. This powder is doing it for me. I don't know about you, but like I said, there are instances where I don't use this powder. Now, I know that this powder is colorless and you can use it on anybody, but I personally do not use this powder on my really, really deep um, clients, whether I'm backstage or whether they, whatever the case is. So what I'm saying is that even if I use this powder minimally, it is not what I want to use. Do I use this part on me? I'll be honest, I don't. And uh, maybe I should put some on now. Let's put some on now. <laughs> so I'm just taking a tiny bit. 
I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I I never won this powder before, guys, ever. Um, and it's so funny because most of the time I say I need to try things in my on myself before I put in my kit, but like RMC is one of those where it's like, girl, you need it in your kit. So, mm, most people will put this on with like, um, yeah, like. I don't know it's because I have already like powder on, but I just, I don't know if I like how that sits. I think it blends, and I mean I already have powder on there, but. Yeah, I guess I don't really, s I feel like I see, if that wasn't there, that wasn't like that before. So I'll show you guys, and I'll take a picture of hair. Um, I don't think that um, I just I will put this on my face I think it probably is fine I'm gonna try it with um with another like foundation obviously without my face being already beat this is what makeup artist thinks of RMCA powder and if you are a budding makeup artist or you know if you're already in the industry let me know what you think about this powder let me know if you use it and how you use it um if you hate it if you love it let us know in the comment section because you know your comments would probably help somebody that is trying to build their kit or you know trying to up their their makeup game so i will see you guys in the next video until then, don't forget to check out these and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.